Hi. So, beautiful sunny day. Um, and I'm still on winter vacation from my school classes. I start again on Friday. And um, so, I've been fiddling with bicycles. Uh, yesterday, we bought Wonder Wife a uh, second hand folding bicycle. Um, and I've just been <laughs> fiddling with it, <laughs> tinkering, um, checking the brakes, fitting the lock getting the saddle adjusted, la di la di da um, it wasn't actually too much to do um, it was in pretty good condition actually I think uh, somebody's already adjusted all the gears and stuff um, before the guy sold it um, but bicycle maintenance is, I really like riding bicycles um, and yeah, for bicycle maintenance is always something I found uh, a little intimidating um, most mechanical tasks, to be honest, I find a little intimidating um, so in keeping with my um, New Year's resolution to kind of try and, you know, uh, attack some of the stuff that I find intimidating, um, it, it, I've been doing some bicycle maintenance. And uh, it occurred to me I don't actually do very much bicycle maintenance. You know, every few months the gears will get a bit crotchety and I'll, I'll have a go at it. Um, but I always find it rather stressful. And so I was kind of thinking about that and I just decided, I basically... I get, I get a little voice saying, oh, I'm not very mechanical, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. Uh, and so this morning I said, all right, well, let's kind of turn towards that a minute and kind of investigate that, um, see what's going on. And I got a little memory of probably when I was six or seven years old, and I think I wanted some te techno Lego or technical Lego. It's kind of like a level up from Lego where you, um, you know, there's not some bolts some pulleys and levers and, you know, you could make moving machines from it. And I think I must have asked my parents for this for Christmas or something. And I kind of have a memory, uh, maybe inaccurate, um, but I have a memory of my dad saying, oh, that I, I looks a bit tricky. I don't, uh, I don't think that's, you know, really suitable. Um, and I kind of internal, I think I kind of internalized that. I'm like, oh, you know, uh, mechanical stuff, I'm not very good at it. It's rather tricky. Um, and I think at 43 years old, I'm still carrying that around with me. Um, and uh, no criticism intended, criticism intended of my dad, you know, he's doing his best. Um, but I think one thing we can do as parents is be careful not to tell our children that they can't do stuff because they might believe us. Um, there's, a, there's a saying that whether you think you can or you think you can't, you'll be right. And so we want to kind of um, have our children think, well, yeah, I could do that. So probably um, a better um, response from my dad. My <laughs> scars are getting itchy <laughs> in the sun. Um, probably a better response from my dad might have been, ooh, that, you know, that looks quite tricky. Um, well, well let's, let's get one of the simpler sets and see if we can do it together. Let's see if we can figure it out. Uh, and then you've got a kind of communicating a kind of can-do approach. And uh, our children will grow up thinking, oh yeah, if something's a little complicated, well, you know, let's take it slowly, sit down, try to figure it out. Um, and then they, they'll grow up thinking, you know, the mechanical stuff or whatever, sports or art or drawing or music, is something that if they have a go at, uh, they can figure out and they can do. It's really, you know, related to the, the growth mindset, which I talked about in another video. Um, so let's try real hard as parents to not to tell when, when there's something you know a little bit difficult or that our children find challenging let's kind of try to communicate that it's just a challenge and something to uh, figure out uh, take your time over all right thanks for watching